Hey there, fellow comic book aficionados. Welcome back. David Eon here with another comic book restoration project of mine. This time we're taking a look at Lois Lane number 70, or more to the point, Superman's girlfriend, Lois Lane. Number 70, which is a significant key because it is the first Silver Age appearance of, as you can see, Catwoman. Of course, you get... Uh, Super Pussycat also, but Catwoman is the primary focus here. And this is a book that I picked up at a recent show, and it is hurting. It needs a lot of love, and I'll show you here. You can probably see here rather plainly just how soiled this book is. There's a lot of just ground in dirt. There's a lot of pinch marks. And this is on both sides of the cover. You can see actually on the back much better representation of quite how dirty this book is. It's a book that's been sitting around for a long time so it is accumulated a great deal of discoloration. Just really, really grubby. And there are a lot of pinch marks, and I'll try to get it into the light so you can see, you know, those like finger and thumb pinch marks that are pretty common from the book being read. Other indentations, like right here, there's a deep indentation that goes into the book, it actually goes through. Several of these marks go all the way through to the inside. And on the cover, as well as the usual pinch marks, there's a couple of prominent ones right here. Here, here, all through. Some creasing and rolling at the top. And I'll try to get this in focus. If you can see it there, someone used this book as a backing. Here it is. See it? To write numbers. And you see the number 12 or $12 it looks like. 12.00 overlined and underlined running right across the book. And that indentation goes straight through. I see if I can pick it up here. It goes straight through to the other side and into the paper. I can see the lines here. I don't know how well it's coming up on the camera. The marks go straight through to like the second or third page. Something somewhat similar to what I had to deal with with that New Mutants 87 that had deep grooves into the paper that went all the way to like the fifth page. And here's another one. I don't know if you can see this one down here. See, this says five or 50 point five zero fifty cents here. And then another line going straight across like someone was doing a math problem on a piece of paper and using this as the backing for it. So this is going to take a lot of love. It's going to take some time to clean and press this properly. So we're doing, of course, the before and after. And I'll cut away and get to work on the book. And then we will get back to it and see how well I did. And here we are. I think I'm about finished with this or done as much damage as I can do. Or undoing as much damage as I can do as the case may be. It's a lot cleaner. It's a lot brighter. There's still some soiling that probably isn't going to come out. But I don't want to press my luck because considering especially the age of the book, you don't want to overdo it and risk actually damaging the paper. 
the objective, of course, was to clean it up as much as possible and get rid of the indentations, which I think I've done a pretty good job of. And that is ultimately the goal. Clean it up as much as you can and really pull it out. So, hey, thoughts? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section down below. Did I do a decent enough job? I get a kick out of it. I like, I actually enjoy trying to restore these, get them cleaner and fresher looking. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below.